All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, April 17th. We've got some play in action in the Eastern Conference today. Uh, this video is going to be for, obviously, the Sixers taking on the Heat. We'll have a separate video for the Bulls and Hawks game, so make sure to catch that on the channel. We also have our full MLB breakdown video, so that's on the channel. Should be by the time you guys are watching this already live, so tons of content today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. I'm going to look at the spread, the total, and I think we have three player props that we're leaning towards as of right now. But like I always tell you guys, we're just talking about things we like in the video. So make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment of this video. That is where I'm going to lock in all of my plays. So what I actually bet myself, those plays will be in the pinned comment. Um, these are leans as of right now. So... This is the play, and we have the eight seed Miami Heat in the 76 or seven seed house here. Winner of this game advances. Loser will play the winner of the 9 10 matchup. So, this is not a winner go home, but it is a win and advance game here. And we should see a really good matchup. Uh, these two teams split their games this season. Um, even split the home in a way. So uh, the first game was in Miami. Miami wins 119 to 113. Second game in Philly. Miami wins 109 to 104. Now the two most recent games, interestingly enough here, Philly wins in Philly 98-91 and then Miami wins 109 to 105. Uh, right now we have a five and a half point spread in favor of the Sixers and a total sitting at 208. My spread lean here. And I have a feeling it's going to be a super public play. It's not going to be my favorite play. I'd actually like the total um, more. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, but I, I think you got to look at the Sixers. Terry Rozier is out for the Heat in this spot. And in both games this year, when he played uh, against the, the Sixers on Miami, he was he had 20-plus points in, in both of those. So you look at a guy that um, they, sh they could and, and will be missing a chunk of scoring from. Now, not to say Terry Rozier is like the end-all, be-all reason that I'm leaning towards the Sixers in the spot. Uh, I do think the Sixers could catch the heat from the outside a little bit. Um, and then one, one weird sort of weakness of Miami's defense, you know, they're going to defend the rim well, which you're like, oh, that's going to be tough for Joel Embiid. Sure, you can make that argument all you want, um, but they're not all that great in sort of the just inside the foul line area um, and as well as the mid-range. So I think that they could get got a couple times here as the Miami being uh, the better defense, but honestly, not not even like by that much, right? But still, I'd give, I'd chalk the defense up to them. Um, I just think that these, the, if it comes down to being able to make shots in big situations, like the Sixers by far and away have the uh, the better offense and the more efficient offense. So uh, I could see them kind of, you know, in that mid range and sort of far out in the paint uh, spots getting some advantages up. So give me the Sixers minus five and a half. Like I said, it's not my favorite play here. Um, the over is way more something that I'm. I'd be willing to bet here. Um, the Sixers in wins this season averaged like 119.6, almost 120 per game. And I just read off the the numbers that we saw, um, and I get it. This is playoff basketball, and and I, and I understand it un entirely. Okay, um, but we we just read off 119, 113, 109, 104. 98, 91 is the outlier here. No no one beat in that game, and then 109 to 105. It's like okay, uh, you you look at that, and it's like well this these two teams. Make no mistake, they're going to play in the regular season and still act like it's the same vibe. I mean, yes, there's a little bit more on the line here, but if you watch the Sixers play and you watch this uh, the Heat play, especially when they play each other, like it's a gritty, grindy game. I understand that, but they can get to, you know, 110-ish a piece here. So I like the over 208. And again, the Sixers in wins this season. If I think the Sixers are going to win, and even the odds makers do with minus five and a half spread out there, uh, they're averaging nearly 120 per game here in wins. Now, do I think it's going to be that high scoring? No, like if this was a two fifteen and a half uh, uh, total, I'd I'd start to you know shake in my boots a little bit. But uh, to get to the two ten beyond, I, I think should be a good spot for uh, these two teams. Now, let's dive into some player props here. They're not all the most sexy. I kind of you know went and found some uh, deep deep diving and deep digging to try and find these plays. But uh, here we go. First one we're looking at is going to be Haywood Highsmith over eight and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, on the year without Terry Rozier, he's hit in 56% of games. That drops when Terry Rozier is playing, so definitely worth noting. But against the Heat here, four straight games of, you know, double digits PRA. It's sitting at 8.5 right now, but he's gone 12, 19, um, 
18 and 23. Now, these being the games from this season, which is good. Uh, he played 36 minutes in this one. Okay, that's kind of an anomaly. 26, 28 is actually a lot more uh, comparable to what he's been playing um, as of late. Where is it? Last uh, last 10 games here, right? Um, finished off the season playing right around there. Obviously, like I said, we have that. We have some anomalies, but just over 25 minutes. I'm still cool with that. Um, Small forward, powerful, wherever you want to put him at. Philadelphia, not necessarily the best at stopping that, especially if he does get that four spot. Uh, overall, I think this could be a decent value play for a guy that's going to get a decent amount of run um, and kind of can do a little bit of everything, especially if he hits a shot or two here. Like, we're cooking with fire. We're cooking with gas. One of those things. And I feel like the immediate reaction is going to be, hey, well, uh, you know, the, the rotations get shortened and whatnot in the playoffs, and and he may not start. He's not going to start. It. That doesn't really concern me as long as we give him 20-plus uh, minutes or 22. So if we go like this um, and we go, uh, let's see, 2023, right, and we go 20-plus minutes, he's hit this in 73% of games. So if you're telling me that he's going to get 20 minutes, which I project him to get 20 minutes, I think that we have uh, a decent play on our hands here. Moving on, we're going to go to the Sixer side of things. And again, I told you, not these these three props aren't going to be the sexy ones, but those are usually the ones that win, right? Like, we're not looking on uh, at Embiid or Max or Butler and that type of thing. Um, and by the way, big disclaimer here, Joel Embiid's listed as questionable. If Joel Embiid doesn't play, screw what I said about the, uh, the, the Sixers lean and maybe even reconsider the total. So that's definitely going to be something uh, that I meant to bring up, obviously. Um, but hopefully he plays in a play and spot here where... They kind of need him. But anyways, back to this. We have uh, Nick, Nicholas Batum over 9.5 PRA as well. He's hit it in two straight against the Heat here in this spot. On the season, he's actually hit it in 65% of games, which is 39 of 60. Um, and like I said, this is another spot where it's not all that sexy. But if uh, you look at Miami, like they're going to lock up um, when it gets down to the power forwards and even the centers. Batum, who's not necessarily a bang-it-down-low guy, more of a perimeter to mid-range type of a player, Shoot small forwards right here, 14th, 11th, and 11th. Is it terrible? Is it bad? No, but it's kind of middle of the pack, and that's all you can ask for to look at nine and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And again, he's hit it in 65% of games this year. Uh, in the last 20 games here, we'll do last 10 because Embiid's been out for a while. He's averaging nearly 30 minutes. So if we go season long and peg him with, say we'll go 25 minutes uh, just, just for, you know, shits and giggles here. 88% of games when he's played 25 minutes. When he's played 20 minutes, 74% of games. So if Batum gets some run, again, another guy that we're kind of betting on that uh, we're hoping he gets the minutes that he should, uh, this should be a, a good spot to be able to take it. Uh, now, it opened at 9.5, moved to 8.5, quickly went to 9.5 again. So um, this probably will stick right around here. Now, our third and final play, before we do get to it, guys, if you want access to this tool that I'm looking at, uh, you guys have probably heard me talk about it before. It's Outlier. I'll have a link in the pinned comment. You get seven days free with that link. And then afterwards, they have two different plans. One, um, you get this player prop tool and, and game tool and everything like that. Uh, that's for $19.99 per month. I think you could pay like $200 for the entire year, something like that. Don't quote me on that. But $19.99 a month, super manageable for all the data you're getting here. And they're constantly making improvements. Um, and then if you do want to pay a little extra, which is 80 bucks a month, they have an EV tool, a boost tool, arbitrage betting, and middle betting tool as well, which super Super, super helpful. This literally is a one-stop shop to help you become a better sports better. So go check it out. Link in the pinned comment. You'll get seven days free. What is there to lose? Um, next play. Looking at an alternate line here in this spot. We're looking at a starter here so everyone can and rest assured. Um, Kelly Oubre Jr., over 14.5 points. His normal line is at 13.5 right now. But I, I mean, if you want to take the normal line, go for it. Uh, you're not getting terrible odds. 13 and a half is minus 110. But when I saw we can get plus 120 for him to get 15 plus, things happened, all right? Um, we have him hitting three of his last four against Miami. The two here um, in which he played his normal, not normal, but his, his minute allotment. Last 20 games of the season here, you can see he's averaging 33 plus minutes. Definitely dipped, but these are when games are starting to not matter as much. Detroit, Memphis. So I don't really want to get concerned with that. In in uh, in some games he doesn't play, but I fully expect him to get a, a decent run here today. Um, and like we already mentioned too, right? That small forward spot, not necessarily a spot in which Miami is all that great. And if we were to look at... um. His minutes, we want him to play probably somewhere around the 30-minute the mark, which if he does that, he's hit this in 87% of games this year. But if he doesn't, say he plays 25 minutes, right? 68%. So focusing on minutes and whatnot, guys, is super crucial sometimes because, look, at he's hit the over in 50. And, again, this is an alternate line. Hit the over in 54% of games. But if we went through and looked at some of these low minutes, he played 17 minutes here, okay? Guess what? Didn't end up hitting it. He played 17 minutes there as well. Played 20 minutes, like, 
it's imperative to kind of pred- not to predict, but where do you think and how many minutes do you think he's going to play? Um, I think he gets a lot of run here, um, and he's he's not going to be the guy that they focus on a very good Heat team, right? Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, and if he and if Embiid doesn't play, I'm glad that we're able to get this at plus 120 because it'll probably go up the minute he plays. But this is very much uh, the fourth guy in offense that they're going to consider. They're going to go Maxey, Embiid, Harris then Kelly Oubre Jr. Uh, so he should get a decent, you know, matchup, maybe jo- Jovic or something like that, where I think he can get 15 points today. So those are my three player props. Like I said, they're not the sexy picks. They're not the superstar picks, but those are the ones that we find value in today. And that is going to wrap for today's show. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. Um, go check out Outlier. Again, that link's going to be in the pinned comment as well. Seven days free of that. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and try and hit here. So uh, in terms of a recap, I guess I didn't recap. We should recap yesterday. Um, we did okay. Uh, we we made some money on the first game there. The over and Anthony Davis didn't hit, but we had two plus money plays uh, cash there and then we split the second game as well so unfortunately um you know kind of made out break even um hope to do a little bit better today and then in terms of our ride of the day so first for the channel right um by the way comment 11 if you're still watching you made it 11 minutes into the video and it lets me know that all this <laughs> airtime here that i'm gonna explain some stuff isn't wasted on uh you know uh, dead ears but um our ride of the day so i picked a ride of the day i screenshotted it i i tweeted it out right and then tweeted it out and left my place. And I must, the Wi Fi to, Wi-Fi to data must have disconnected because the tweet never went out. So I'm not going to shout at the right of the day because it lost, okay? So I took the L, but now I, I'm not going to throw someone under the bus that we didn't even get to, to see the play, um, you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. So use the hashtag right of the day in the comments of this video and the next one um, for the, the other game that we're doing today. And I'll pick one person. And I'll make sure to get it out today, hopefully. But yeah, luckily no one rode with it because it, the tweet never sent. It's still in my drafts here. Um, and it w- ended up losing. So I'm not going to say the right of the day who it was, um, but... But didn't cash. So I think I helped us dodge a bullet there. I'm a man of the people. So, yeah, comment man of the people if you believe that. But, guys, uh, that's going to wrap for today's show. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Go check out the other videos on the channel. We got a bunch out there right now. And, uh, yeah, let's try and cash, right? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.